this is Billy Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos five times a week. I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, happier and healthier place for you and I hope you enjoy these videos and gain a lot of value from them. So I hope you are feeling good today. Uh, today our quote of the day is, weak people revenge, strong people forgive, but intelligent people ignore by Albert Einstein. This is genius, really. This sentence, this quote is genius. If you want success in any field of your life and in any of your relationships with other people, there are things you must learn to ignore. And to do this, I want to talk about what you can ignore in order to make your decisions the best they can be for you so that you can move your life forward to be the way you dream it to be. So there are basically two types of minds that are working simultaneously within each and every one of us. Some people use one type of mind more than the other type, but the best is to use some of both of these minds to create a balanced state of mind which you can make the most intelligent decisions from. So let's begin by talking about these two minds. The first one is the emotional mind and the second is the analytical mind. <clears throat> most people make their choices on based on one of these minds but if you truly want to have a good life the best option for you is to use your intelligent mind which takes some of the information from the analytical mind and some of the information from the emotional mind and binds it together and balances them both out by ignoring some of the information from both minds. And I think this is what Albert Einstein had in mind when he stated that intelligent people ignore. This is such a profound understanding. So let's understand what each mind brings to the table. The rational, analytical mind examines everything to the very fine details. The analytical mind looks at all of the numbers and the fine details. It overthinks all the time, everything. This mind gathers a lot of information from the environment and lots of details but when there is too much reasoning there is no action looking at all of the, the all of these details is overwhelming and this mind usually stops people from taking any action it checks all of the possible scenarios and often focuses on the negative scenarios the question it, it often asks this asks itself this mind what if this happens or what if that happens and all of these petty details drive the person to fear and they do not move they are basically paralyzed with the details when this mind is in control this will lead to paralysis and no action the person often stays in their comfort zone on the other hand we have the emotional mind which acts from the gut it is the reactive mind that goes into the direction that the feelings drive the person to go. If it feels good, the emotional mind jumps right in cons without considering any of the consequences of the actions first. It jumps right on in. And when something does not feel good, the emotional mind runs away from it. There is no rational thinking whether it is really good to run away or whether, whether it is really right to run away or whether it is limiting beliefs that are causing the emotions um, to be uh, to show up as bad emotions. These could be lots of things that are holding us down and the emotional mind reacts from the emotional uh, feelings without any realization of the consequences of these actions that come from these emotions. Details aren't really checked but everything goes by an emotional reaction to any situation. This mind, when follows, it, when you follow it, it leads to making choices without thinking them through and can lead to a lot of destruction for a person. An intelligent mind is different. It is made up from both of the other minds, the, both the analytical mind and the emotional mind. The intelligent mind gathers the information from both minds and forms a balanced choice. The intelligent mind is a balanced mind that can help you make the best decisions for yourself. 
It takes into consideration both the emotions and the gut feelings, as well as looking at the numbers and the small details before making a decision. The intelligent mind is conscious of the environment, as well as being conscious of the feelings we have about something and the numbers. The intelligent mind helps us to make responsible choices and not just whims of the moment. The intelligent mind thinks clearly and looks for the truth, not just what we wish to be the truth or what, or even just what the numbers show because there is, it, it just looks at the bigger picture. There is much more than just numbers and there is much more than just feelings to every decision. So the intelligent mind, uh, takes both into account and it ignores the stories that we tell ourselves that stop us from taking action. But the intelligent mind also puts aside the very strong emotions that may not really be based on reality, but on our own thoughts and beliefs. The intelligent mind questions everything in search of the truth. It looks for the honest truth based on real evidence. And when we make choices from this mind, from the intelligent mind, we will move forward, grow and expand our mind, expanding our life to new dimensions. This is what we want. The intelligent mind is the mind that allows real change to occur in our life. I remember reading about a study on a group of people who were asked what they would do if they were found on stranded on an island without a lot of food and not too far away they saw another island or what looked to be land to them but it but it could be an island as well what they would do there were uh, about 50 percent of people that said they would check the details check the amount of sharks in the water and the temperature and the winds and the exact distance before they would even think about leaving this group would probably stay on the island fear of uh, making a taking the leap and just stay in their comfort zone even if it wasn't too comfortable. Another 40% said they would just jump in the water and start to swim towards the other island without considering any consequences at all. Just taking a leap and going. Uh, a leap of faith, you may say. The last group is a small group, that about 10% of the people that said they would make a short plan. Uh, they would check the details as much as they could and they would Think about finding stuff in their environment to help them build a small raft. But they would have the will to go out and reach the other land. The scientists checked uh, what happened to these people after many years. And they found that the small group was the only group that had really become very successful in their life and had reached their goals. These people were using their intelligent mind, were putting together both the emotions as well as the small details. Using the intelligent mind helps you make decisions also in, that are important for your relationships where you learn to ignore the irrelevant details, for example, a height of a person or their external looks or some small faults that are in the person so that you can continue to explore the nice and good and fun aspects that you are having in, a, in this relationship, which is more important for the long-term health of the relationship. Of course, the same goes for health decisions. You want to look at the details of the food before you buy it, but you also want to consider the taste and your desires. And this is the only way to make a good long-term choices that can last for you in the health uh, field. So as I always do with these videos, I want to provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself that will help you move your life in the best direction for you. So with regard to the intelligent mind, the question of the day is, which mind is controlling my actions? The analytical, emotional, or the intelligent mind? And how can I ensure that my intelligent mind takes over my decision-making process? As usual, I recommend writing your question, this question and your answers in a notebook, especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them from time to time and see how your life is improving as well as to guide you to improve your life in this way. Now, the affirmation of the day is I always take both my emotions and the logic of any situation into consideration before making any decision. I always take both my emotions and the logic of any decision of any situation before making a decision. 
Now, tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the power to alter your life for the better. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel as well. And also, um, uh, please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com for anything to help you move your life in a healthy way to a better place. Thank you very much for joining.